Hi everybody, uh, another uh, rivet training exercise and before we get started I would like everyone to like me or uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, we're going to look at this new feature in 2019, I'm using 20 and it's the structural connections and it's pretty nice, it was an add-on before but rivet all of this added it to the program, it's all here so what we do, we want to go on the steel actually called steel connection and we we'll pull this little elbow down this little arrow and what we have is all of our different connections for steel what I did I just created a drawing here with columns and beams we all should know how to do that and then I want to just actually I want to select all of these when I add them to my project and then I'll just say okay right here Now, I'm um, not going to go through all of these. I'll just go through a few for good practice. So the first thing we want to do, uh, what we like to do is uh, go in here where it says uh, connection. I'm sorry, but still connection. Yeah, we are in connection. And so we need to select this beam and this column. Once we have that selected, you'll get this generic symbol right here. And then what that asks, the what it wants you to do is go find a type of uh, connection you want to use there. So you just go over to the Properties tab and pull it down. And um, for that, I think we'll use a clip angle here. And there you go. So there's our clip angle nice and ready on both sides. Let's look at it in a wireframe and see how it looks. Yep, it's actually on both sides here. So let's go back and do a few more. And what we can do here, which is pretty nice, we can create similar. So I'm going to select this column and this beam. I go back into my steel connection and there's my generic uh, symbol there well it's the type of connection I'm going to use and I just go and put it in there that's simple guys let's go down and do one here let's select this column this beam And there you go. This is pretty nice. I actually like this a lot because uh, you get more detail. And I'm going to do another one here. And then I want to show a couple more things what this feature does. There's our plate. Let's do this side here. Think, no, we didn't get this size, so let's grab the column again. Hit control, grab this beam. We need to be in that steel connection command. Here we're there, and it's in there, I think. So now, uh oh, I don't think we got that one in. Let's see. There, there it is. So now let's go and have a look at what we got here. Let's go look in our, our level two plan view. We can see what's happening here. So there's our plates and our connections. We've got them all in. 
There's our one on our corner. So this is a nice tool. So let's do a few more. So just simply grab the column and the beam. Need to be in that command as well. Still connection. And that's the generic family. And you just click it. There you go. Let's do this one here. I think we should click that family first. There you go. Okay, now let's do this side and then let's go do some other, other connections. There we go. Okay, so now let's go look at our columns and our footings here. So let's look at a base plate situation. So let's go down to this one on this level and let's just grab the column. Let's grab our column and our base and our footing, our, our column. And then let's go in back into our steel and let's go into connection. Now this time it's asking me what type of plate I want to use. We want to switch up here. Ah, there it is. Let's go with base plate. There you go. I really like this. this is a nice new feature here. Autodesk came out by doing this because uh, I'm just going to go create similar and just come down here. There's our base plate. Now, uh, another thing you can do here, we can grab these guys. So let's grab this base plate here. Let's select this. And we can modify the parameters, but we have to override this because it's an instance type. So let's click this override instance. And then we can modify parameters here. So what you can do here now is basically you can change the size, the bolt sizes, and everything here if it ever opens. Not responding. Hmm. This is great, man. <laughs> I don't think there we go. So here we got all of the different dimensions. The plate dimensions you can change here. The corners. The well holes. So there are a lot of different things you can do here. With these plates, you can change the thickness of the web. The base layout can change, the, you know, and we change our thickness here. So I'm gonna say OK there. And then for the uh, the clip angle, it's the same thing, basically. You want to take that override box, and then we modify parameters. So we can change all of these features, the, the sizes, uh, the bolt parameters, the horizontal bolts. So that's all we're going to do here. I'm going to hold it here, and I'm going to pick up on this later because we're going to go through as many of these we, as we can to get familiar with it. I'm going to finish mine off here, and uh, you can join in with me or... I'll see you next time. So thank you for watching this, my video here. And again, if you like this video, like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.